Awesome. Okay. Let's talk about the 12 week business accelerator program. It's built around real world hands on learning experience. This is not going to be your standard sit in the classroom, listen to lectures program. Now we built this accelerator for early stage businesses. So it's early stage Fanshawe College founders. This means, as I said, current student, past student, okay? If you have aspirations to own your own business, you've got something innovative that you wanna do and you wanna get paid to do it, this is the program for you. Now, during these 12 weeks, we bring together a very large amount of resources. At a high level, you know, you get funding, $5,000 coming your way. You get access to mentorship from our staff and advisors who help you stay accountable and stay on track with the program as well as after the program. Just doesn't just end at the end of the 12 weeks. You get daily workshops and discussions from our instructors and our guest speakers. Those will include professors, entrepreneurs, business leaders, and other supporters from our entrepreneurial ecosystem. You're gonna have a lot of community building opportunities with like-minded individuals, like some of the people you see here, um, as well as a lot of networking opportunities that will happen throughout the summer during the program as well. We'll have daily activities, we'll have field trips that help bond and create your own entrepreneurial support ecosystem amongst the group itself. And this is all designed with the intent and purpose of giving you a very supportive, very hands-on environment that will help you move your business forward faster than you could alone. Now, let's look at some just quick details, high-level stuff about the program. It's been around since 2017. We have a graduate from that first year in the program sitting back there who's going to tell you about her experience in the program afterward. Nicole, want to wave and say hi? She's not listening. Oh. Yeah, there's Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we started back in 2017. We've helped to launch 97 companies through this program. And now, thanks to our RBC uh, funding, so Royal Bank of Canada now is our title sponsor for the program which allows us to continue to provide that $5,000 worth of funding to you guys. But instead of being eight to 10 companies, we're now into the space of providing it for 20 companies every summer. Um, and to date, we've given uh, about $525,000 uh, in funding. Um, <clears throat> in total, we've had, we're getting closer to 550 applicants for this program. The competitiveness of this does increase every year. And currently we get about 100 applicants for the 20 spots. That's what we're looking at. So of that though, we're only interviewing 25 to 30 people. So this means your application is very important to making it through the first round. You know, um, And we're gonna go over the application and I'll show you the questions just so um, everybody's on the same page with what exactly they are. And if you need any clarity on that, you can ask me, okay? Now, as I said, leap in. Oh, we have a question in the chat. Okay, sorry guys. Question is, can I define early stage a little bit further? Yes, I, I have it in the presentation. So basically what we look for is people who are in the idea phase, but have done primary and secondary research or either or, okay? You are committed to the idea, you're passionate about the idea and you can prove your research with a presentation. Meaning that be, that is because if you were selected to be one of the people who we will interview, you will have to present your business to us following a slide deck presentation that we will send you. So we need to see the data, the proof that it's not just an idea you had. Now, if you are in business and operating, you must be within your first year of business. And for those people who are, we will be looking at you and asking you specific questions to make sure that this program isn't a waste of your time. This is for early stage founders to validate their idea. If you've already validated it and you have traction, this is first and foremost a market research program that gets you out there talking to real customers about aligning your product or service with the right customers. It's about finding product market fit to ensure that you have something that actually is in demand. That is what the program is first and foremost focused on. Okay, yes, sir. Um, there is two things here, Dave, right? One's a business accelerator and yes. one is the business plan. So somebody who goes through the business plan, yeah. even if they don't, couldn't make the cut to get the prize, will they still be allowed to apply the accelerator if it's validated? Uh, 100%. Actually, two of the finalists from the Libra Business Plan Challenge last year ended up in the accelerator. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, I saw that the program was from May to July, but I'm a summer intake student. 
is the program not available in any other Unfortunately, I only have the funding right now to run the program one time per year. Um, for summer um, full-time students, we usually, um, as long as you receive approval from your um, program coordinator, we can talk on a one-on-one -on -one basis about what that looks like. This, like, we have to see what program you're in, what your workload's like, and you need written approval from your coordinator to make sure you, because this is basically like participating in two full-time programs at the same time. Um, but yes, each year we've had someone who is participating in full-time school. Um, but, you know, you have to be very, very, um, uh, very, very aware of what your capacity is to do both. Okay. Yes, Nick. Yeah, more in the, okay. Can the same founder or co-founder apply more than once with different ideas? Unfortunately, you can only participate in the Leap In program one time. Because of how the funding is paid out, it is part of a government program. You get a T4 for it. Individuals can only receive the funding one time in their life. Any other questions? Oh, that was a lot. We got a gauntlet out there. That was really good. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> okay, back to talking about the program, what to expect. Well, as I said, this is a very unique program that comes with a very unique philosophy. It is not your typical college program where you sit in classrooms, listen to lectures and take tests. Leap in, there are no tests, right? <laughs> you're going to be tested, definitely. You're going to be pushed to your limit. You will learn, but there are no lectures. We call them workshops because they're very interactive, hands-on, and you can immediately apply the knowledge you're learning. You will build a company, yes, but this program is not necessarily about starting companies. It is about building you up as an entrepreneur. Often in this program, not every idea goes forward at the end of it. Some pivot and change becomes something different. Some realize that there's just no demand for what they're offering or it's just not gonna work, but you gain a lot of skills so that when you're ready to pursue something else, you can utilize those skills in that next idea or that next venture, okay? So Leap In is different. It's about diving headfirst into this world of entrepreneurship, embracing the challenges that will come your way and developing the skills that are needed to, to thrive, not only in entrepreneurship, but in any professional arena. So our goal then with this program is to help you as an entrepreneur develop that entrepreneurial mindset. You know, you're going to build a strong foundation for your company and you're going to grow your network. Hopefully you'll become a much better business leader along the way. And you should be leaving each day with new tools needed to help your business grow. Was it something I said, guys? So, oh, sorry. I'm sure. I made the meeting. I got to no problem. The recording will be sent out. Thank you. You're welcome. Because let's be honest, guys. Um, for those of you who may have already been founders once before, the road to being a successful entrepreneur, it is not short. It is not easy. It's long. It's difficult. It's very risky, and it can be lonely. And it often is very full of failure. And that's why we created this program to help make the beginning of your long journey much less difficult, to introduce you as a new entrepreneur to key elements of successful entrepreneurship, but in a safe, supportive, and collaborative space that allows you to learn, allows you to grow, allows you to experiment in order to launch that startup. So in this program, you come with the idea, okay? You come with persistence and come with courage and the determination to actually pursue it and we will give you the resources, we'll give you the knowledge that will help you build a rock solid plan based on real research, experimentation and analysis that turn your assumption about your business into facts. And then we'll make taking that leap into your new business much easier and far less risky. At least that's what we hope. So whether you have always dreamed of being an entrepreneur or whether this just kind of popped in your head last week, this program is hopefully what you're looking for. So as we said, we focus on helping early stage new founders who are looking to validate their business idea. They are looking to establish a minimum viable product or prototype, and they're hoping to build a roadmap or action plan for actually launching that startup. But it's definitely a lot more than that. It's about actually building things that people want, okay? And they will actually pay for that is the core foundation of this program. 
Because if we do not build things that people actually want or will pay for, then your business will die, right? It will cease to exist. You will not sell it anything and you'll probably waste a lot of time and money doing that. And this is a very important to understand and not take lightly. If you look at the insights we see from um, CD Insights here, top 20 reasons why startups fail. The number one reason that we see is that there's no market need. It's really crazy. Almost 50% of new startups fail because they did not properly determine if there was an actual need for their product or for their service. And that's what Leapin is all about. We give you those knowledge, that knowledge, those tools, the skills to determine if there truly is a need for what you were creating, okay? We're gonna give you that safe space to try this, to experiment, to find out if there actually is a fit between the product or the service and the market. And ultimately helping you, the outcome is you get the confidence in your idea and yourself. Because that's really like, when I see entrepreneurs that come in here day after day after day, that's what they're looking for. They're looking for me to tell them that that's, that idea is good, right? You just want the confidence to know that I'm pursuing the right thing in the right way. And that's what this program is built on, is helping you do the right tests, do the right research that will give you the confidence. You're gonna do it yourself. I'm just gonna kind of show you the door, okay? <clears throat> and that hopefully leads to a better chance of success. But people ask, okay, like, how do you actually build something that people want? Well, the answer is actually very simple, but often something many new entrepreneurs really struggle with. And that is by talking to your actual customers. We need to learn as much about them before we go off and build something that people might not want. And you need to know, if you're already thinking this, you are not your customer. You could be a single one, maybe. But if you wanna build something great, you need to talk to a lot more people than you and your friends and your family. To help you get to your customers, we utilize a model or methodology in LeapIn called customer development, which is the foundation of this LeapIn program. It's part of what is called the lean startup concept. Some of you may have heard of that before. I know you probably have. And by utilizing this model of customer develop, you will learn how to turn your assumptions about your business into facts. And you will be concentrating on learning about and researching your customers in detail first, and then we'll start to build our products and services second in the program, okay? So we have to shift our focus off of us as the business owner and what we want and towards understanding the customer more deeply and more intimately. That's what the program really forces you to do. And this can be a little bit of a struggle for new people. <laughs> but by doing so, we can develop products and services that hopefully will fulfill your customers' needs and, emotion and emotional needs better, solve their problems really well, help them achieve their desires, you know, which is what truly drives buying behavior of our customers. So we do all of this through this iterative, just have a hard time saying that word, iterative process of creating and executing a series of experiments during LEAPA that you're going to conduct to validate or invalidate different aspects of your business and your business model, okay? So we'll utilize many different tools. Um, the main one that we're going to use is kind of the foundation of it is the business model canvas. Some of you may know it. You're going to get to know it really intimately. You're going to have a whole bunch of different variations of your business model canvas throughout this program. And you'll get the chance to combine a lot of the theory that we'll teach in the day-to-day. -day, um, and you'll have a ton of hands-on practice because you'll immediately start applying it with the different experiments we're going to run. Okay. Now, as I said, your know, entrepreneurship skills, they, you know, they don't come from listening to lectures. They don't come from regurgitating facts and tests. They don't come from phoning it in. And they certainly don't come from floating by on raw intelligence. Okay. It will come from the work that you do outside of this room, okay? where we actually apply that theory. This means for many of you, the skills that you acquire in this program won't come easy, nor will they come in a form that may be used to in other college programs. The only way to develop these skills is just actually from real hard work, putting in the time and committing to it, right? Just like you commit to anything else, okay? You can't become great at playing an instrument by just reading about it. Right? You can't become an innovative professional by reading about it either. You got to experience it and you've got to practice and practice and practice 
before you master these new skills. So this is why during this program, you will be conducting many experiments, but most importantly, we'll conduct two rounds of interviews with your potential customers totaling 50 interviews during the program. And that's a lot of out of class time. You'll have definitely time during it to do this as well, but 50 is a bit of a gauntlet. Still to date, nobody's made it quite to 50, but we're, that's the goal. That's the, that's the goal post we wanna get you to, okay? And based on the customer and market feedback that you get from doing these interviews and these experiments, you're gonna to begin to develop and iterate your business, your product, your service. You're gonna validate and validate those assumptions and you're gonna become more confident. And you're gonna to begin to build and design something that people actually want, they'll buy, they'll use. And this is the model that we use and have used to produce many great businesses, right? So you're gonna come in with that idea. Okay, you're gonna take that leap of faith and join this program. You're gonna to start to build something great. We're gonna develop hopefully some type of prototype that you're gonna drive people to. You're gonna gain some data from that, learn some things, and then we're gonna make some more changes. And we're gonna go round and around and around to getting you closer to a version of this that has the potential to actually be sustainable in the marketplace, okay? This process in business, no matter whether you're one year in or five or 10 years in, this doesn't really stop. There's always room for innovation in our business and always room to make things better. So this process we're gonna go through, it's just something that good entrepreneurs, you know, you'll learn it and you'll use it over and over. So, you're gonna get a chance to master some pretty school, cool skills in this program. One that we love the most and we teach right away is just embracing failure. It's a, you know, most entrepreneurs I know tend to have a bit of a trait of perfectionism, which is great. It like, you know, helps you, you know, you're all type A personalities, perfectionists, makes it really hard though to embrace this idea of failure. So you certainly will fail in this program and some of the experiments we run are designed to make you fail. Just know that going in. Okay, so don't get mad at us. I've told you right now already, okay? You will fail. You're gonna fail many times and in probably a lot of different ways. You're gonna learn not only how to stop fearing that failure, but how to actually embrace it and use it as a weapon. Okay? You're definitely gonna learn how to talk to people and connect on an emotional level. In particular, in particular, you will learn to talk to people about the things that actually matter to them and how to connect with them on an emotional level, level that's gonna get you deeper connections and better insights about what your customers really want, okay? You're gonna definitely get into some risk taking. You're already thinking about being in this program, you're already a little less risk averse than most people. So you'll have the chance to you know, set your ideas, your opinions and your actions free to be prone to criticism because we will criticize your idea. You will criticize each other's ideas, but it's healthy criticism and debate around it to help you become better. And you can experiment with different ideas and different approaches and jump out of your comfort zone in this program. That's the whole point. This is a lab. And in this space, it's safe to try anything, okay? You're definitely going to master the art of collaboration. You're not gonna succeed by yourself. So we will create synergies in this program and opportunities by having open conversations and collaborations between all the cohort members, okay? You will also <laughs> hopefully become better at communication. You're gonna practice, develop and share effective, clear, persuasive written and oral presentations and pitches. We're gonna start practicing that right from probably week two. You have lots of opportunities to work on your sales pitch, okay? Learn how to talk about your business. Get over any fears you have. Well, maybe not get completely over them, but get maybe a little more comfortable with presenting and talking to people about what you're doing and what you're building. You're definitely gonna learn how to be more curious. You need to be curious. You know, this program, this semester, this whole experience, a bit of a mystery, right? We don't know what's gonna come out of it until you get into it. You must imagine, and you should do so by asking questions, right? Making small bets about what's possible. Anything is possible during these 12 weeks, right? You just gotta get curious about what you wanna explore. You'll definitely learn how to be a better critical thinker. You know, you can suspend judgment of your own self and of others and their ideas in this program, but maintain a healthy skepticism that increases dialogue and hopefully exercise a bit of an open mind. In other words, you wanna be able to examine, interrogate and investigate to help make yourself better and make others better. And of course, of course, 
wouldn't it be a great program without learning how to be a better creative thinker, right? And you have a you kind of you have a choice, you know, in what ideas and learning that you want to pursue and how to pursue them. Although it, it should be some combination of generating many different ideas, right? And combining those ideas into the best result. And you'll actually learn some strategic brainstorming, um, expansion and contraction ideas to help you learn strategically how to build great ideas and build great products. But you'll learn best by envisioning and, and doing tasks that you actually enjoy and only you could come up with. So what that actually means is don't be afraid to get silly with some of your ideas and be crazy, right? You get to decide how you apply this knowledge and what you do with it. There's no crazy ideas here, okay? And lastly, yes, innovation. Well, we're in Innovation Village. I had to put that on there. <laughs> but you'll have the opportunity to apply that creative energy, hopefully turn your ideas actually into reality. Now I've got 10 things in the chat here. Nick, is there anything I need? We're good. We're good? Okay. Uh, I'm going to skip this one. That's a lot. I'll just send that to you in an email. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about the actual content, how it's broken down. Now the program is actually split into three phases over the 12 weeks. <laughs> finding a problem worth solving, finding a solution worth building, and then readying the company for launch. And actually this year, for the first time ever, it's going to actually extend beyond the 12 weeks, which I'll talk about kind of switching one little thing up this year to bring you more value. The finding a problem worth solving phase is about understanding first and foremost, the fundamentals of what we call evidence-based entrepreneurship. You're gonna learn how to learn all about lean startup methodology and the business model canvas and the customer development tools. You're gonna to learn about the importance of experimentation and how to run great experiments. And you're gonna get a better understanding of customer problems and emotions um, specifically related to you and your industry. In phase two, we move into finding that solution worth building, which you're all coming with an idea for a solution already. We just need to make sure it's the right solution for the right people, which is the core element of that customer discovery and problem validation part of the program that we will focus on. You'll get into developing your financial modeling. You'll develop a minimum viable product or prototype. You know, that could be simply just a landing page for your business. You know, that can look very different depending on the business. Maybe it's a new set of puzzles like you brought me the other day, which are beautiful. Um, you'll get into more experimentation. And of course, uh, towards the end, we'll get into more uh, contracted or more um, deliberate pitching and storytelling. Because at the end of the program, you will be delivering a final presentation and pitch. Phase three is all about readying the company for launch and growth. This includes analyzing all the results of your experience that you ran through the, pro ran through the program to make sure you've got something you want to pursue and move forward with. Getting your assets ready for your brand, getting closer to that launch. So looking you know, to build your website or brand materials and different things like that and actually putting them out there. This phase of the program is what I said, doesn't just end at the end of the 12 weeks. It's kind of happening during the program and it extends beyond it. You're gonna have regular business uh, advisor one-on-ones -on throughout the program. Every other week, you should at minimum have a meeting with your advisor to make sure you're on the right track. And this will be ongoing after the program as well, okay? Now they're up to you to keep up with after the program ends, but it's all about making sure at least at the end, you've got some clear goals set and an action plan to move forward with that business. And the guest speakers fall into that as well. There's so many topics that we cover in this program that we can't fit, but we can't fit everything. And we often find because every entrepreneur in this program is on a little bit of a different trajectory. Some like last year are developing an autonomous snow removal machine. He's building a prototype takes a long time. It's a lot of funding, a lot more research. Someone else is building a social media marketing agency. Okay, very different. Uh, and how those are going to move into the marketplace. So they're on a slightly different timeline. Some need more support after the program because they weren't ready for all that knowledge during it. So what we're going to do this year is we're going to shift some of our guest speakers. We'll take a little break at the end of the program. And then once a week, we're going to have a guest speaker. You guys can come back in in the afternoon and evenings. And that will go well to the end of October. Once a week, there'll be a guest speaker for all of you to come back. It's not mandatory. It's just an opportunity for you. And it'll cover a variety of other topics that are more suited when you're not constantly working in the business and running experiments and doing a lot of testing. We don't want to like crush you during the program. So we don't want to um, 
mix things in that you're maybe not quite ready for yet, okay? So that opportunity is there for you to continue learning and provide supplementary learning as well. There's a lot. So this is just a quick glimpse of half of the things that we will cover during the program and in the guest speakers. Everything from how to validate real customer data, which is the key thing we're doing, all the way to Google Analytics crash course, um, small business taxation and banking, staying healthy. That definitely will be included. We won't miss that. We have some financial fundamentals. There is a ton of stuff. It's a lot. Okay, we pack into this program. Now, as we said, some of the, these things will be delivered by us, but some of them will be delivered by our many great guest speakers. These are industry and field experts, Fanshawe College faculty and staff, and experienced entrepreneurs from the region. It's going to cover a variety of disciplines and industries. We'll also have weekly fireside chat with entrepreneurs who will come in here on Thursdays, hang out with us for about a half hour, 45 minutes, and then be available to talk with you guys afterwards. So that's something that will happen during the program as well. And some of them will be providing guided workshops and hands-on sessions to help you expand your business knowledge, okay? Now, a very unique component of this program that we try to create is what we call the entrepreneur support system. Most of you here, how many of you here, this is your first journey into being a business owner? Hands up. You guys have had companies before? Awesome. How about our online folks? Thumb up if this is your first go. Throw it in the chat. <laughs> okay, maybe they're not there. Yep. Okay, Sam says yes. Awesome. Okay. Well, even if it isn't your first go, as I said in the beginning, um, this can be hard. And it can be hard to do it alone, right? This is why we are very, very picky about who we select and who ends up in our cohort. And we do it with the intention that you're gonna become a support network for each other as you move through this journey during the program, but after the program as well, okay? So this part is not easy to add into our selection process, and it takes us weeks to actually complete our in-depth interviews and analysis to come to an agreement on this cohort. But I think each and every year we nail it. Every cohort is awesome, and I'm so happy with every group every year. Now, the criteria that we look at when we're selecting on, because this is not included in that application that you fill out, things to think about when you're filling in the more ambiguous sections of the application, we are looking for group fit, right? How do you work in a group setting? Looking for personality, right? Do you Are you a good person who can bring your whole self to the program and be positive and make sure you're, you're, you're you're not, you're leaving other things at the door that day to make sure that you're adding value to the group. What kind of skills do you have that maybe you can share and help, you know, other people grow with? What's your willingness to learn and collaborate and being coached like? And lastly, of course, still that business validity, right? That is a key part of it, but it is a combination of these things that help us choose who gets into this program. Now, how do you actually become a support system for each other? Well, we create a lot of opportunities for the cohort to get to know each other on a more personal and intimate level very early on and throughout the duration of the program. We do a lot of icebreakers and games up front to kind of break down those barriers of communication between each other. We have what are called one-on-one -on -one discovery walks. You will be partnered with all each of the other 19 individuals in that program at some point to spend time together on a walk outside in nature and Maybe given some cards to kind of keep a conversation going and get to know each other a little better. We have brag and drags, which is an opportunity to tell us about the things that suck and the things that are going really well in your week. It's a great way for us to get insight into what's happening in your life. We have skill opportunity. You don't have to, to do skill sharing presentations. Maybe there's something you want to share with the cohort that's outside of your business. That's just something cool that you do. We've had people do, um, Portrait workshops where we all learned how to draw, draw pictures of each other with our eyes closed, to jewelry making, to all sorts of different things. Uh, actually, Shannon one year taught us all. She was a mechanic, then became a professional photographer. And she taught us all um, a very important skill, which is learning how to change a tire, uh, which is really cool. Uh, we have a lot of confidence and team building exercises and field trips. In fact, uh, we do have a, like a full team building day where you'll be given a team, you'll have costumes, and it is like a little Olympics, uh, and it's very serious competition. 
let me just tell you, it's probably the most fun day that everybody seems to enjoy the most. Uh, there's team meals. Um, we have like a, a class representative to um, help organize socializing opportunities outside of us and outside of the program. There'll be a group chat that you guys will all have access to and be able to discuss with each other online. Um, there's going to be some group projects that you'll collaborate on. And then we'll also have discussions around mental health, wellness, and family and business, which are some areas that I know everybody can connect with. So our hope is by providing these opportunities in a very open and safe environment, you have a better chance of bonding with each other. And so far, it's been working really well. Um, these are just some pictures from different things we've done over the years. This is that Shannon doing the tire change, um, just some team dinners. This is uh, Andre when uh, he taught us how to do art with your eyes closed, some jewelry making. This is a shot from our branding photo show. I'll show you a bit of that. We've done yoga workshops and it's a lot. We do lots of field trips, a lot of opportunities to do um, to do connection outside of this classroom. What else we have? VR and hitting up the brewery. Wake, we did wakeboarding and paddleboarding one year. Um, yeah, lots of fun stuff. The other unique component uh, is also the field trips. We do usually about five during the program. Uh, we go out and we explore the London entrepreneurial ecosystem. So we partner with local entrepreneur service providers, but also other business owners to bring you out into the community. Um, so I think this year we might actually be visiting the Fritter Shop's new manufacturing facility. Um, they've got a new automation facility they're really excited to show us. You can go have some fritters, see how they're made now, maybe make some of our own. Um, and every year, that I can't say what the other field trips are because they change every year. Um, last year, we did like the Living Center. And uh, anyways, I'm not going to tell you what they are because you can actually watch a video on our website that shows what they are. Uh, but we will also be bringing in some key partners. We have our friends from Pillar Nonprofit and Innovation Works. We usually spend a few days at their facility uh, where we learn about different types of business models. So more of a social enterprise business model and how to have impact on humanity and environment in our businesses. We'll spend time with the Tech Alliance team at their offices downtown for a day. Well, they'll bring in some guest speakers. They'll have a chance to do a whole gauntlet of meetings with their advisors to get their opinions on your ideas and advice as well, and also expand your network. We'll have some of the team from Our Traction, which is a, a large marketing agency here um, in London, where we'll meet with their team, um, and they'll be kind of giving you some of their own personal takes on what you're building. Uh, some of the team from the Small Business Center will be joining us as well, uh, so you can get connected with them and their resources. We also have someone from the London Economic Development Corporation, the City of London, and as well, Futurepreneur that joins us. So there's all these organizations that at some point will be coming in and talking to you to make sure that you know all about the other resources that are available to you, including funding and more advisorship and mentorship, uh, HR resources, lots of other things. And especially the team from RBC will be coming since they are our funder. Let's talk about some unique programs that are exclusive to you guys through them. Ooh, okay. Oh, these are just some pictures from visits over the years to different places. Oh, I think this is actually a video of some of our filters. Okay, keep it up. <laughs> It's very important because so much friendship can be quite lonely. This is why we carefully select and create our cohorts with the intention that they'll be a supportive community for each other as they move through their entrepreneurial journey and beyond fan shop. There were other artists in the end, so I really gravitated to those people and was able to make some really meaningful friendships. I really love the fact that I can run into them wherever and it feels like we haven't missed a beat. Some of them um, have really maintain contact, ask about how I am, people have to dig with the projects that I'm doing, vice versa. It's like a friend that you shared this one very specific experience with that nobody else has. Each group becomes like a little family by the end of the program. It's amazing to see them bounce ideas off each other, get feedback on what they're developing, and support each other during the wins and also the losses. What's truly inspiring is being able to watch a really safe space develop among the group over weeks as they become more open and honest with each other. This group cohesion tends to happen through you know, a series of icebreakers and games, confidence and team building exercises, group projects, and some really positive field trips. 
This is when we went to the, the food accelerator at the Grove. Some really cool businesses in there. And actually, it's expanded a lot since this was from a couple of years ago when we went. <laughs> Let it break up. It's always a good time. They take us through how to brew some beer, and then we get to try a bunch of samples. It's never a bad time. Uh, cottage pottery studio, a lot of fun. We get to try our hands at making our own pottery, which uh, is very hard, I will say, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, the Living Center is where we learned about uh, sustainable um, ecological growth. Um, but yeah, each year there's a lot of different opportunities. Okay, another key part of achieving your success in this program is having those regular check-ins, as I said, with our business advisors. So to support this, you're gonna have access to myself, to Nick, and to our new advisor who's actually starting on Monday or Tuesday. It's gonna be Julie Forrester joining us, um, former advisor from Pillar Nonprofit, um, and very excited to have her with us for the duration of the summer. Um, so we're gonna be checking in on your progress on a very regular basis. You're gonna ask us questions, you know, during each session. We're gonna go, um, you know, through what you're working on during the program and making sure that you, you know, you've got us as a bit of an accountability system, but also there to help you make sure you're on the right track with things. We're also gonna be available during the program, a lot of Slack channel between the whole team. So if there's things that happen, you know, or you didn't get access to us, something like that, you'll always be able to, to reach out and connect like instantly. Now, another awesome resource that you get is our Leap In branding photo shoot. So during the summer, you'll get the opportunity for free to have your own branded photo shoot for your business. You know, you get to decide how to stylize it and everything. We bring in the photographer, give you the space, and everybody gets their own time slot. This is a heck of a lot of fun. We also get some photos of you leaping. We do the leaping photos every year. Um, those are a lot of fun. We get to use them for our own marketing too. Um, but this is just a quick clip of what it's like. Okay. So it's a of a lot of fun. Um, and it's something that would cost you a couple thousand dollars to get done yourself. And I just put that out there for you. So that way, during the program, most of you are going to have to probably launch some type of website. You're going to need some branded material. There's nothing worse than where everyone's website's going to look the same. We all got the same stock photography on it that we uh, got for free off of Canva. So at least maybe you'll have some stuff that you can utilize. And you also have a connection to an awesome photographer at the end of this that maybe you'll utilize in the future as well. Now, as I said earlier, at the end of the program, there will be a final presentation. This will be on the last day of Leap In. There's also going to be a potluck we always do on the final day. It's an opportunity to kind of share your food with um, the rest of the cohort. But this is what we call a progress pitch, this presentation. And it is not your standard like investor pitch deck, pitch competition. That's not what we're looking for here. What we are looking is to understand your journey over the program. What did you learn? What did you go through? Where were you at the beginning? Where are you now and what's coming up next? How can we help you with that? All of the homework and the submissions, and there will be some on a regular basis. Everything, as I said, we're gonna go through workshops. You'll instantly apply it. And a lot of that applying is happening in the form of exercises you'll do for through a online platform that we've developed for this class. And the submissions will happen right through that platform as you do the work, okay? It'll all get turned into a presentation. If you complete it all, you just literally have to hit a button and it can make the deck for you, which is great. Now, most people take it and just make it their own and do their own thing, um, which is great too. But if you keep up, you should have everything you need to do this presentation. So do not fall behind. It can kind of snowball a little bit. Um, and if you need that support, you got to reach out to us. You got to let us know so we can make sure we can make a plan to get you caught up. Okay. All right. 
The last thing, I know there's lots of stuff we're you. It's the founder's fair. So you have that final day, and then you know you go off and spend August and then go on some vacation. Maybe you're going to come back for some workshops. But in September, we host an event to celebrate everything that is you, okay? It is to celebrate all you've accomplished during the program. It's your chance to also share your business with our community at Fanshawe College and London. So we invite back to an event, our leap-in guest speakers, past leap-in graduates and clients, local entrepreneurs, Fanshawe College staff and administration and faculty and students, and the entrepreneurial support ecosystem to come and learn about you and your business, okay? And during this program, obviously you're gonna have some time after and during to think about like how you would want to represent yourself. We're also gonna host a workshop in early September to how to develop a great display for your business. How could I represent myself? For some of you, you haven't maybe have a, a, a product that is naturally something easy to display. For others, it might be something very intangible. It's like, how am I actually going to showcase this and pitch this at an event like this? We'll help you do that. I'll help you get prepared for it, okay? Now, there's, there's some speeches. There's a valedictorian from the program. There's some videos, but you'll have an opportunity to meet and network with an audience and hopefully spread the word about your amazing business, maybe even make some sales, depending on who your target audience is. Um, so did anyone participate at Founders Fair this past September? Did anyone go? No? Okay, well, this is a video from two years ago, just to give you a sense of what it is. We usually get a pretty good turnout. There's you know hundreds of people that come to this, and we also partner it with a hot wing contest from one of our past graduates, the Hot Sauce Co. with Jesse Long. Uh, and this is, uh, we give away money, and it's whoever wants to you know endure the pain of eating some very spicy food. Uh, but it's also uh, brings a lot of the students out, which also brings them over to your business and gives you that opportunity to connect and pitch. So it's just a quick clip from Founders Fair from two years ago. We did a carnival theme that year. It was called Demo Day back then, by the way. Anyway, this goes on for a while, so I'm going to jump ahead. <laughs> you get a sense of it. It's a fun event. Uh, we're going to do it even bigger uh, coming up for this year. Now that we're in the new space, there's some new opportunities being presented to us. And our team is very excited to get into planning that event to showcase you guys. Okay, but I want to make sure we get to the important stuff, the very nitty gritty and details of exactly what you're getting. Most important slide here, right? Each business in LeapIn will have access to up to $5,000 in funding. To receive that funding, you must be attending 90% of the workshops and you have to document your learning, meaning keep up on your homework, okay? So we are expecting that you'll be able to dedicate a minimum of 25 hours a week to your business and program activities, which includes the deliverables and homework as well and includes those customer interviews, okay? So people ask, can I work a full-time job outside of this program? Yes, you need to be good at time management, okay? We're expecting, you know, 25 to 30 hours that you're dedicating to this, okay? So it's just like imagine you're in class full time, okay? That's basically what it is. So you got to ensure also that you attend your bi-weekly meetings with your advisors as well. That's part of it too. Now, funds can be used, yes, for the business, but we understand you might be foregoing lost wages during this program. So maybe it's just to pay yourself, okay? Maybe it's to pay employees. Maybe it's to access services or for the development of your business or your product or service. You get to choose, but we just asked that before you go and spend it on a music video, like we had one entrepreneur do for his business, 
please, please, please consider talking with the rest of the cohort about, is this a good idea to buy this certain thing or equipment or spend it on this? Just, just check in with a few people, okay? <laughs> now we encourage all of you um, to just not waste it on the wrong things in the beginning, right? It's important that $5,000 can really go a long way when you're bootstrapping a new business. Okay, anybody here considering the co-op side of, anyone in a co-op program over the summer term? Maybe some of our online people, maybe someone watching this recording. So you do have the opportunity if you are in a co-op program to use Leap In for a co-op credit, um, but it must be directly related to your program and your learning outcomes. You will need to speak to your co-op consultant for approval. Um, co-op consultants will then refer to us for guidance and we will support you, you know, to make sure that that is navigated appropriately and you'll be assigned a pass-fail grade for the term, okay? You're also given the offer, um, given a micro-credential upon completion of financial official financial job, uh, micro-credential. Um, once you complete this, it's good for your resume, good for LinkedIn. Um, our space, our beautiful new space here. Our space is your space, not just on the days of the program outside of that. You need a space to take a meeting. We've got some meeting rooms over here. We are dabbling with the idea now of also maybe having um, one of our offices be for um, a student after the program as well, or a graduate from the program who needs a space for their business. So that's something we're dabbling with too. But yes, this space is yours Monday to Friday to come and work out of if you need access to media equipment, other research materials and other things like that, um, take advantage of it. It's not just here, just for the class, okay? Now, who can apply? Let's make sure we get all of this out there because so we have a clear understanding. You gotta be a current or former financial student. You just gotta have a student there. You gotta be eligible to work in Canada. You will receive a T4 as this is considered income in this program, okay? You must have a reliable computer to participate. We will be doing some web design in this program. Some of the programs we use for web design are not super great on tablets. So if you are a tablet only person, make sure that you can use some of the web design tools. And if not, we'll get you a computer for those days to make sure you've got the resources you need. You must be able, as I said, to dedicate 25 to 35 hours a week to your business in the program. You must be available for that 90% of the program sessions. And online participation only is no longer available. All sessions will be recorded if you miss because you're sick, but the online only side of the program is something that we have removed for this year. It is an in-person first program for 2024. Okay. What kind of ideas are actually eligible? As I said, it's got to be legal, but it's any physical, digital product or services eligible. You, you can be a for-profit, a social enterprise, or a non-profit business model. And you need to be at that idea stage and also existing companies need to be within their first year of business, okay? What do you need to demonstrate in order to say you're a good company for this? As I said, you gotta show some commitment to moving this idea forward. We're committed to doing this and doing the work and moving it forward. You need to tell us how you plan to actually move that idea forward. And you need to be able to share some of the research you've done, primary or secondary, and show it, show your work. Include that in your application, okay? There's a space to upload files. Show us what you have done. Show us what you know about your industry. Why are you the person to do this? We need to get a sense of that without knowing you intimately, okay? Show that there is a demand for this. That's part of that research. Why this, why now, why here, or wherever it is you're gonna do this. So we wanna see that you have a basic understanding of your industry, that there is some type of demand. We don't expect you to have it all figured out. That's what this program is for, but we need to be able to see those things and understand that you have got a pretty strong application. Let's talk dates. May 7th is day one. July 25th is the final day of the 12 weeks. This could change. Let me just put that as a caveat there, but that's pretty set. And then, as I said, we'll have a couple of weeks off or some vacations, and then we'll start our regular extra guest speakers coming back in, which you'll get that calendar way in advance. The program is Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. The program hours are from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. with a one-hour lunch in there, okay? So you must be available for those hours. Okay, any questions about any of this? I yeah. Have one. Hey, if I have a partner who is not here, he can participate in the- Yes, program. he can. Yeah, As, uh, and he, they do not need to be a Fanshawe-affiliated individual either. 
Yeah. Yeah. We've had a lot of uh, partnerships come in. Yeah. Yeah. It just adds more fun to the group. Now, when it comes to some of the aspects of the program, there's a lot of partnerships. They're not financial affiliated. And then we got to kind of talk about limiting that. But like, if he needs to come to alleviate you, just we need someone from the business here at okay. a given time. Okay. okay. Any other questions? Did I give enough information? Answer it all. Did you come in with a lot of questions and now you have none? Is that what happened? Yes? No? Yeah. Uh, how about online folks? We got any questions? No, all clear? Okay, awesome. All right, well, let's talk a little bit of testimonials. Maybe you're like, I'm still not sure if this is for me. If you wanna see a glimpse of what Leap In last year was like, go to our Instagram page, right here in the little story highlight, click Leap In 2023, and you can literally see all the stories from last year. Um, there's a blog from a couple of years ago that kind of gives a day-to-day -day breakdown of everything we were doing. Um, we also have, uh, this little testimonial video, but I thought maybe um, we'll just watch a minute or so of this. And then uh, we're going to have Nicole come up and talk about her experience in the program. And you can ask her some questions if you'd like as well. Hi, I'm George Ryder, and I wanted to catch us here in 2023. It's a uh, so. Sorry, I didn't realize this was at the beginning. A little outtakes here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite memory of this is meeting Jonathan. <laughs> My favorite memory of the pin, I would say, is all the field trips and all the guests because I won literally everything. Yeah, you won every contest. is when we were together. At the Legion Center are just having fun. And yeah, I learned a lot to listen to each other and do my I, I, I think I find my tribe and that's awesome. I think my favorite memory was not at Leafin, but it was caused because of Leafin. Um, after the first day of classes, I went home and my mom was home. So I went to go talk to her about how the class went. She picked up on it pretty quick, and I picked up on it the next day. I've never been excited to go back to class. I got home, and I was like, yeah, I'm ready for tomorrow. So I kind of realized that this is really different. It's like it, you know, create an atmosphere where you just want to be there. You want to, it's not work. It's what you want to be doing and the people you want to be with. So. I pretty much right there on the evening. You know, I'm talking about the it seemed in the news for we had we, we got on our own <laughs> in best costume. So yeah, I know. <laughs> so those are our team challenge My event. Yeah. It was probably Palestine because I got to see everybody competitiveness, even though I didn't win much. Uh, that's all right. Uh, there, we played a game um, at the laser tag, and so I was knocking out everybody with the lasers, you know. I, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> My favorite moment at Leap would be all the times where the puzzle class and getting to share with my classmates about progress that I had uh, the drop in the long sales uh, starting off and also being being vulnerable and just opening up. I feel like those are the moments that I would share the most uh, I can say that it's just one memory because every day I create new memories of each one person that I meet here at this first. And I love it. And I learned a lot from young people that I never thought about it. And I love each one. Like the personality of each person makes me like blow my mind. My favorite memory at Leeds In would have been our Palsa day. Uh, I shot my best game bowling ever. <laughs> 
leap in would have been our day at Tech Alliance. We went there and it's the first time ever being able to network. And it was really cool just to meet a whole uh, bunch of people that had the same mindset as myself and really just got to connect with them. And I got to make it in my LinkedIn account. Yeah, so for me, my favorite memory is going to be the day we actually went to Peloton. Yeah. So it turns out everyone loves that day. Yeah, anyway, yeah. okay. Nicole, do you want to come on up? So just so everybody knows. <laughs> before, before we have Nicole join us, everyone is aware the final day to put your application in is March 1st at 11.59 p.m. Nothing will be except we will not extend the deadline this year. It's getting too competitive. So if you don't have it in before then, I'm sorry you just missed the boat. Um, but to apply, leapjunction.ca slash leapn, and it opens up the application. Once Nicole has a little chat here, if anyone wants to talk about the specific questions in the application, just stay. I'll put it up on the screen and I'll walk you through all of it. Okay. Um, but I wanted uh, you guys to have a chance to hear from somebody who's been here. And, um, I've also been through we've been quite a few years ago, but you've already heard me talking up. So thank you for joining us, Nicole. Good to share my experience. Hi, everyone. Um, so I was part of the very first cohort back in 2017. So it's the first year that this program ever existed. There was only 10 of us in the program. Now it's grown to be 20, twice the size. The programming was a little bit different, different than what's offered now, but I had the luxury last year to work um, with Dave and Jenny um, in the cohort. So I was able to be an, an entrepreneur in residence. So I kind of got to experience both uh, types of the program. Um, so it's honestly life-changing. I don't say that lightly. I know that it kind of sounds cliche to say something like that, but for me, I didn't have a business background at all. I already started my business at the time. And then when I was a part of Leap In, my business grew significantly just going through that program having access to all of the, the ecosystem, all the people that we work so closely with, um, even outside of these walls. Um, I didn't know that my business is a social enterprise, which means that I get a portion of my profits uh, back to the community. So I, uh, a little bit about me, so I own a clothing line called Evelyn, and the social enterprise part of it is called the Abbey Fund. So a portion of my uh, profits go towards bringing dream dresses and superhero capes to life for children in the hospital. I thought I was just doing good for my community and then realized there was a normal name or a, a specific name for it, so social enterprise. So I was able to get connected with, I think I heard Dave talk about it, um, Teller Nonprofit and Innovation, Teller Nonprofit and uh, Innovation Work. So going, being able to be connected with them, you know, I took my business in a completely different route. route. I got to be a part of other programs because of me. Um, they introduced me to them. So it's all around an incredible opportunity and I can't say and not how lucky you are if you get to get that into the program. Thank you, Nicole. Right. Does anyone have questions for Nicole? Um, yeah. Do you still run your business? I do, oh. yeah. I've taken a little bit of a step back since having a kid, but um, still up and running. All right. All right, folks, any questions? Yeah. So it is mostly online. I did have a storefront for a couple of years at the Western Fair Market on the second floor. Um, but then when COVID happened and everything kind of forced to be online, I thought it was a lot easier to be online than have a physical location. So I kind of stay there. I might one day have an open or open at a physical location again, but for now it makes sense to stay online. Any other questions, guys? Thank you, Nicole, for sharing. I'm here if you think of it. Okay, awesome. Um, so that concludes kind of the formal part, unless you want to stick around and go through the full well, questions. Who wants to stick around and wants me to walk you through it? Is the application. Pizza? What's that? Is there pizza? There is not. And it, it won't take long. It'll like, be like five to ten minutes most to go through yeah, it. We'll I wish there was pizza. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, if you've got a laptop or a phone, um, go to leapjunction.ca slash leapin right now. Our online folks, Samantha, if you want to go to that link as well. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on the application link and it will open Gust, which is our application platform. Oh, 
which will bring you to a page that should look something like this. Once you've clicked on that link on the Leap uh, Junction website. I guess a second to do that. Is it an apply now button? Yes. So now you've got there, it'll ask you, so you won't get to that page right away because it'll probably be like, you got to make an account. Do that part. <laughs> Once you do, you'll be able to get into the application. You need that account so you can save your application. You don't need to do this all in one go. Take your time with it. You've got another month to submit this application. So you want to go through and make sure you've got something great. So return so I can see this. Okay, so there's three sections. There's the all about you, all about your business, and all about the future. The all about you is pretty straightforward. Standard contact information, student number, um, any other, you know, basically education, things like that. Um, are you able to meet these parameters? <laughs> da, 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 da. If you have other commitments, like I'm a full-time student also during the summer, I have a part-time job or I have a full-time job. I, you know, if there's other things that might get in the way, be transparent with us. It doesn't go, it's not going to exclude you from the program. We just need to be aware of these things so we know who we kind of have to navigate with around resources and time, okay? Um, if you've got a co-founder, this is where you put their information as well, okay? That stuff's pretty straightforward. That'll take you like a couple minutes at the most to do. Now, all about your business. First question, pretty easy. Fully describe your business with as much detail as possible. We are not you. For some of you, I've never met you before. Assuming I know what it is by only putting a couple sentences doesn't mean I know what it is. And I know not everyone is great at pitching their business. And that's okay. That's what part of this program is all about. But put enough information there. And if you link to it, it's like this business or something like that. Like, give us a good understanding of what this is. Because sometimes you'd be surprised how little information people put here. And then our team is like, well, can we interview someone? We don't even know what this actually is. Right. So make sure there's enough there for us to bite into. Um, you need to know what industry you operate in. There's all the NACE codes here. You'll be able to drop that down and see. And if you're not sure, look it up, Google it, or ask someone from our team. Uh, what specific things do you actually sell? So up there, we're talking about the full scope of the whole business. Here it is like, okay, what are the products? What are the services you're actually selling? And what are, what are you going to charge for it? Doesn't have to be correct right now, but like you probably just have a guess, right? Put something down, okay? What is your inspiration for going into business? Why do you want to do this? Why are you passionate about this? Are you passionate about this? Do you not actually care? You're just about making money for you. That's okay too. I'm a capitalist, right? But give us an idea of what created this idea. Tell us the story, okay? It's a chance for us to learn a bit more about you. Who's your target customer? or potential target customers. Like you're gonna have a hypothesis right now. Remember, everyone's not your customer, but give us some information about them. And um, what's the problem or need that you're actually focusing on for your customer? So obviously you're trying to fill a gap for them in some way. What is it that you're trying to help them with, right? Who are your competitors? As I said, we need to have a little bit of research done, right, with these applications. So you should have looked at the competitive landscape of this business. How do you think you're actually different? Saying that you're the only one doing this, I'm going to be really suspect of that. Odds are you've got some competition, even if you haven't thought about it, okay? <clears throat> How will you make your customers aware of your business? Social media is not an answer, okay? It, go to get coffee? You want uh, no, I'm okay. I think I'm wired enough right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, so when I say what marketing channels will you use, don't just list off, I'm going to do a website, I'm going to do Instagram. It needs to be more robust than that, okay? We don't expect you to know how to fully deploy an extensive, in-depth, integrated marketing communications plan, okay? However, you should have thought through this a little bit more than just social media, okay? Everybody's going to be different. Some of you are B2B, some of you are B2C, some of you are like maybe have enterprise ideas or maybe want to work with the government. I don't know. So how you do this marketing and generate awareness can be very different amongst all of you here. Okay, But it needs to have enough that we're like, okay, we think that if they apply some of these skills, they do it right, 
Based on that, I could see them getting out there, getting some actual customers. Okay, we've thought through that part of the plan. If you've generated sales or not, answering no does not deter you from being in the program. As we said, some are in research phase, others are in business. We just need to know, are you at that level? Do you have customers? Have you made sales? If yes, if you have, how many sales have you made in the last year? And how much gross and net profit have you earned, okay? Next, if you're not operating, and even if you are, what are the major costs involved in starting the business and growing it, okay? Explain and please share expected costs with real dollar figures, okay? Show some of that research. Do you need more funding to actually start this business? Yes or no? And have you made any investment to date into the company? Okay, so have you put any of your own money? Have you gotten any other grants that you put in? If so, how much and what did you spend the money on? Again, answering no does not deter you from being in the program. If additional funding is needed, where are you hoping to get that money from? What's your plan, right? You need a million dollars to get this idea off the ground. How are you actually gonna do that? So we need to know that it's actually within your capacity to do. And if you have them, please share any links to your business website, you know, your own website, if you go in, depending if you're in like the creative industry, so it'd be like a portfolio, business social media pages, or things that will give us a sense of the business and you as a whole, okay? Last section is about the future. This first question, are you going to, do you think you'll make money in your first year in business? Maybe, maybe not. Depends on the project you're building. If yes, how much? Leap in comes with a $5,000 grant for your business. How are you going to spend that money? Okay. And how will it be used to help develop your business? As we said before, it's okay to say, I'm going to actually use this to cover my lost wages because I got to take time off from my job. I got to cover rent and other expenses. So that's totally fine too. This one is my favorite question. What is your big dream for your business idea? What do you want this to become in the future? How big or how small do you want this to be? Is it a side hustle? Is it a big scalable company? Give us a sense of like what your dream is. Okay. No wrong answer there. Now, we also want to hear your tangible business goals and milestones for the next year. Okay, like what do you actually want to achieve? And I'm not just saying complete leap in program. Like what else? <laughs> Launch the company by this date. I want to have this many customers. What else do you want to do? Okay. You need to be tangible things and milestones along your journey in the next year. And how will you get closer to that dream? Okay. What, how are these contributing to this? Next question. How can Leap In and our team help you reach those goals? What is it you really need from us during this program? Yes, we're going to provide a lot of stuff in the program, but what else might you need? What is the, you know, a couple big things that you're really hoping to get out of Leap In? <laughs> now, um, this is about that community building uh, portion. So, you know, as I said, you want to build that strong community amongst participants and their peers. So how could you use your own skills, your knowledge, and your strengths to help other entrepreneurs in this program succeed? Okay. Almost done. Why? <laughs> this is that ambiguous interview question. Why you? Why should we pick you? For some guiding lights here, you know, give us some examples that showcase your drive in the past, your coachability, and your willingness to collaborate. Um, spoiler alert, we'll ask this question probably again in the interview if you make it into that point. We want you to use real examples. So think about this in the application. What things happened in your life that can you can speak on around this. Um, three references, you know, it could be a teacher, professor, it could be an employer, a mentor, who can speak about your entrepreneurial spirit, your drive and your character. We, our team here, if you've worked with us in the past, we cannot be a reference, okay? And then, yeah, the standard had to learn about us. And lastly, there's a spot to upload any files to support your um, application. Okay, so this could be samples of your work, could be business plan if you have one, could be client testimonials, recommendation letters, anything else you think that we should know about you to help you um, help support your application. Okay, help us get a sense of your character, sense that this is a good business idea. Okay, Whew. so with that, 
Um, hold on, where did it go? Oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> One of our students last year drew this of Nick and I. Yeah, I like it. So, who here is ready to apply? Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, between now and when the applications close, if there are some things coming up, you know, leave this is a challenge. But also, the day before application close, on leap day, February 29th, only comes around every four years, is our 10 year birthday or four year birthday, I guess, depending on how you look at it. Um, we are hosting a reunion party of all the past leap-in grads that night, um, during the day from 10 to two here, it's all going to happen in the, um, the village square, which is like that giant glass fishbowl space there. There'll be games and all sorts of activities and food and, um, some, uh, speakers and panels happening from 10 to two, then from four to six, we'll flip the room over. It's going to be a bit of a nighttime DJ open bar kind of situation happening there. Bringing it, not open bar, sorry, cash bar. <laughs> <laughs> it's recorded now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but uh, it's going to be a great opportunity to meet past leapers. There's going to be lots of people from our network and our community there. Even if you're in or out on the program, it's just going to be a fun event overall if you're interested in entrepreneurship. We usually use, do an annual event called Stone Soup. That's our like entrepreneurial networking event. This is replacing that this year. So we're gonna have lots of opportunities for you to connect and meet other people that um, might lead to maybe a co-founder or just helping expand your network or could become a next mentor um, or just you know find a new friend uh, to connect with. The Entrepreneurship Club here on campus uh, is definitely gonna be there. Uh, and if you're not connected with them, um, just let me know, shoot me an email. Um, and I can connect you with the club here. They're really new. They just started last semester. Um, but they meet be meeting on our space on a regular basis now that we're here. Um, but yeah, keep your calendar, save the date, February 29th, um, and sign up for our mailing list. Um, because we'll be setting up more um information about that event, our other workshops, and other funding opportunities um on a regular basis as well. And with that, I say thank you for your time. I hope to see some great applications come in from all of you. If you need some one-on-one -on -one time with me now, I'm happy to do that as well. Um, but yeah, I'll see you all hopefully on February 29th. Yeah. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Samantha, thank you for joining us. I'm going to do my little mouse here. There we go.